Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video and we are doing our glycerin free series here on the channel. I was like, oh, let's get to the point. But in today's video, I'm going to share with you my glycerin free moisturizers. These are the oldies and the newbies. And yeah, so let's get started. We're going to start off with the beat up, but tried and true. This is the newbie. This is the She Scented Papaya Blooming Curls Hair Moisturizer. I love this because it is lightweight. It's for all hair types, I feel like. And it is, of course, glycerin free. Now, one thing that I really like about moisturizers is that they hydrate my hair because moisturizing and hydration are two different things but it also this one really hydrates it feels like a quench of water and then it's locked in there and it also has some really great oils so this one actually has sweet almond oil kupuwasu butter it has Babasu oil. It has rosemary essential oil. I really do like this. She Scented is getting on my list of things. So let me know if you have any She Scented products and let me know which ones do you think I should try. But I really do like this She Scented Papaya Blooming Curls Hair Moisturizer. I love it. Oh, let's talk about OGs. Y'all know Smooth Naturals was going to be in here because I am a smooth criminal. This is the Smooth Naturals Perfect Moisture Milk. I really do enjoy this. I love it because a lot of Smooth Natural. Smooth Naturals was one of the first uh, brands that I really got into it. Before it was called Coily Head Chick, but Smooth Naturals was one of the OGs that really started me off with glycerin free. So I really like this. It has some great ingredients. Let me just call off a couple of them. It has purified water, kupuwasu butter, shea butter, macadamia oil, BTMS, olive oil, rice bran oil, castor seed oil, honey. It has um, optophen citric acid and fragrance those are all things that i can actually i know what's in this that's one of the things that i love about smooth naturals is that i can read the ingredient list and understand what it is it's not like crazy ingredients or chemicals that i like don't know about so really do like that um ultimate hair treat is another one that i really love from that brand and yeah i think i have one more from them I actually I think I ran out absolute moisture oh the hair and body smells so good I have it in almond I think I shouldn't be out of that but anyway the sale is coming up if you're seeing this on Labor Day when I want to put this up or Tuesday maybe they have their anniversary sale coming up and you really want to stock up on smooth naturals then I'm a smooth criminal I know about that Two more OGs. When I say these are holy grail, tried and true, I am not a lion. This is from Bacura Beauty. I have gone through so many bottles of this. This is the Nectarine Vanilla Honey Latte Detangling Hair Milk. This one detangles as well, which y'all know some tang tangles are for real, but this smells like peaches and cream. This smells like a dessert. It is so decadent. It's so fluffy. It's so light, but it also kind of gives me low-key some hold so if you need a leave-in or a moisturizer with some hold this one is going to do it for you this is another brand that i can understand the ingredients i love the cure beauty they are on the pricier side but you pay for ingredients a lot of these you're going to pay for the ingredients just just to be honest with you this is not going to be drugstore i tend to have a higher price range when it comes to my hair but my hair tells the difference you guys are always talking about how shiny how defined the curls are how hydrated and juicy it is now i'm not saying that drugstore can't do that but when i want consistency i am going to pull from my tried and true and i am going to spend a little bit more money so this one has baba baba su oil castor seed oil kupuwasu shea butter those type of ingredients a lot of times you're going to pay the money this has organic raw honey if you notice i'm repeating a lot of the ingredients that was also in the smooth naturals i'm telling you when it comes to quality you are going to pay for the ingredients i'd rather pay for the ingredients and know what's in my hair and that my hair is being nourished i want it to show from the cortex 
outward um, of the hair strand. So yeah, that one I absolutely love and I won't be without that. Like once I start getting low, I start panicking. So yeah, this one is pricey on the pricey side. But then again, to me, Bucura Beauty is one of those like hair spa, body spa, spa at home type of videos. I do have a deep conditioning like spa at home type of thing um, that I did and I really do like they do have some great great products and they do let you know if they're glycerin free or not okay so let me tell you this is probably my all-time favorite moisturizer and y'all talked about this I talked about my favorite leave-ins and so let me just say in terms of moisturizers I have moisturizers that I can also use as leave-ins but there are a lot of leave-ins that I don't use as moisturizers but this is the O to the G. If I'm going to have anything, if I'm going to have a 16 ounce, if I'm going to have like the baby ounce like I just ran out of but I keep real refilling, it's going to be from Onion. This is the Onion Handmade Hairdo Daily Hair Quenching Lotion. This is amazing. You want to look on your labels to see if it says moisturizer or if it says lotion. Those are the things that you really can use on a daily basis. It's not as heavy as a decadent, like a deluxe cream, like your palm tapioca or a like a butter cream. These are going to be a little bit more moisturizing. This is like you know, moisturizer for your skin. These are moisturizers for your hair that you can use on a daily basis until wash day. This is so good. First ingredient is water. Second ingredient is castor seed oil, like the other ones. This also has olive oil in it. It has uh, colza oil. I don't know what that is, but it's an oil. Uh, co uh, coconut oil. So this one has a lot of oils in it as well it has aloe leaf juice i love it it has the organic one and it also has purified water make sure that your ingredients are really nourishing your hair i'm noticing uh, something in these ingredients is that purified water it's just not water but it's purified water so that's just something that I notice and when I look at ingredients those are the things that I look for is the consistency of these type of ingredients in my products and I notice all my moisturizers have those things so those are my moisturizers I only have four to talk about but I did talk about the ultimate hair treat that's also a glycerin free moisturizer that I use and the ultimate uh, what is it called the ultimate moisture or the nourishment it's I'll leave it down below just check the description box and those are all my moisturizers that's what I use on a daily basis this is what I use to moisturize and seal I might go in with a water and then with this and that's it some of these already contain oil so I like the fact that these are like moisturize and seal type of moisturizers I know I say moisturize. If I say moisturize one more time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let me know what you want to see next. Do you want to see creamy stylers? Do you want to see gels? We also have spray hair mist. Y'all, that one was a hard category to find. So tell me down below what you want to see next. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see beautiful you in the next Maintenance Monday. Bye, guys.